Thinking of upgrading your motherboard but overwhelmed by choices? Today we're breaking down the best Z890 motherboards, ranked from weakest to absolute top tier so you know exactly where your money's going. Let's kick things off with a compact option, the Gaming X from Gigabyte. It sits at the bottom of our ranking, but don't count it out just yet. This micro ATX board is built for smaller cases, and while it doesn't scream flagship, it's still got PCIe 5.0 and Gen 5 storage support, which is great for a starter or budget build. You get a decent layout with triple M.2 slots, HDMI, and dual display ports, and even debug LEDs. A nice touch in this price range, but when you stack it up against the rest of the lineup, it's clear this one's more about keeping costs down. It runs basic onboard audio and skips integrated Wi-Fi entirely. Plus, USB options are limited compared to the competition. This board works best if you're building a compact gaming PC or need something functional without breaking the bank. But if you're chasing high-end performance, you'll want to keep watching. By the way, if any of these boards catch your eye, you'll find links to all of them at the best prices down in the description. Next up, we've got the AS Rock Pro A, a full-sized ATX board that steps up the power and expands the layout. Compared to the previous Gigabyte board, this one has a more robust 16-phase VRM setup, better cooling design, and a slightly stronger storage layout, including a handy Gen 5 M.2 slot for ultra-fast SSDs. It also adds a rear Thunderbolt 4-port and dual display outputs, which is pretty generous at this tier. However, just like the Gigabyte, it skips onboard Wi-Fi and sticks to the Realtek ALC897 codec. Not ideal for audiophiles or wireless gamers. Still, if you're okay with adding your own Wi-Fi card and using external sound, this board offers great value and reliable performance. It's an excellent choice for budget-conscious builders who want an ATX form factor with next-gen features. Just know you're trading a few modern conveniences for the savings. And hey, if you're enjoying this roundup so far, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more builds and breakdowns just like this. Moving into the middle of the pack, the tough gaming board from ASUS is where things get really exciting. It delivers all the core features that serious gamers need, including Wi-Fi 7, dual Thunderbolt 4 ports, USB-C 20GB per second with power delivery, and a strong 16-phase power design to support demanding CPUs. Unlike the previous boards, this one doesn't cut corners on audio. The ALC 1220p codec is a noticeable upgrade. It also includes user-friendly touches like quick-release PCIe and M.2 tools, and robust thermal solutions across the board. The only thing holding it back from the top is that 2.5GB LAN instead of 5GB, and slightly fewer enthusiast extras compared to flagship boards. If you're building a reliable gaming rig and want something built to last with a clean aesthetic and smart layout, the Tough Gaming model is an excellent sweet spot. Now we're in premium territory with the ROG Strix. This board is sleek, powerful, and packed with smart tech, including Asus's AI overclocking, cooling, and networking features. It's made for people who want their system to be both high-performing and easy to tweak, without diving too deep into the BIOS. It stands out with 5GB Ethernet, excellent audio shielding, and two USB-C 20GB per second ports, one of which supports 30 watts of charging. That's rare. The board also includes a powerful VRM layout, PCI 5.0 throughout, and full RGB control for builders who love customization. The only thing missing is detailed SATA specs, but that's hardly a deal breaker at this level. It's perfect for gamers and content creators who want smart performance features, tons of high speed ports, and a polished ROG aesthetic to top it off. And finally, here it is, the best Z890 motherboard on the list, MSI's MPG Edge takes everything the others offer and ramps it up a notch. You get not 4, but 5 M2 slots all with thermal shielding. A monster 16-phase VRM design with 90 amp power stages and elite cooling for every component. It checks every box. Wi-Fi 7, 5GB of LAN, dual Thunderbolt 4, USB-C 20GB per second up front, excellent audio, and premium build quality. The VRM temperatures stay impressively low even under load, which makes this board a great choice for overclocking. It's not cheap, but for what you get, it's worth every penny. If you want the best blend of performance, features, and feature-proofing, this is the one to beat. All the motherboards we covered today are linked in the description below, so check them out if you're ready to upgrade. And if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives just like this. 